Hello, Village Church Youth Group. It's Ben here, back with another Verse of the Day devotional. Just so you know, if you are trying to get a hold of me, I don't have a cell phone right now. Uh, my cell phone died. It went a little berserk. Uh, I could it, it was it could open, and all of the apps were just missing and gone, including like the phone and the text messaging app. You could click on them, but then they would uh, shut down almost as immediately as you uh, opened them. So uh, if you're trying to get a hold of me by texting me or using Discord, I, I still have Discord and I still have my email, but it's not in such a close proximity to me that I will be able to answer right away. And if we were communicating over Discord for gaming or other ways like that, that's kind of hard for me to do right now too. Uh, Zoom, though, is still working fine because that's on the computer. Uh, other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I hope that you are getting all prepped for school. It's going to be good, all right? It's good. You're going to have a lot of fun at school. Uh, so I, I hope you're having a good time just getting yourself prepared for that. Uh, as a reminder, we do have our Wednesday night uh, youth group. Uh, make sure you show up for that. It was a ton of fun. Last time we sang uh, a, a worship song, we're gonna, it worked out pretty well, so we're going to do that again. Uh, there's a new Jackbox game set that we just got, and we had a lot of fun playing it last time. Um, other than that, we also have book club. Uh, every Wednesday and Saturday, we have our verses of the day. We've got our deeper dive. There's so much going on. Just make sure you're staying connected and uh, really watching those videos, joining us for youth group because uh, hopefully we're we're providing a little bit of inspiration and uh, and and lots of Jesus in your life. Okay, speaking of that, most of the time when I make these things, uh, I am. It's either something that I've been dealing with and thinking about in terms of biblical studies or sometimes it's just about filling you up and wanting to inspire you because, um, let's face it, we could all use a little bit of inspiration. Uh, so this week is, is the latter. Uh, I, just, I just hope you walk away from this feeling the Lord's love for you and feeling inspired to take on whatever stands in front of you. I'm just going to read some of Romans, uh, because Romans is just so great. There is a chunk at the end, which I, I focused on in the verse of the day that I put out. Uh, but it is, uh, it is at the end of it. So I want to, I want to get like the, the previous little context of what Paul's saying, because Paul is writing this letter to the church. Um, he's writing a letter to the church of the Jews and the Gentiles. Um, and it's, it's something that just fills me up. All right. So this is Romans 8. Uh, I'm going to start. The verses that I posted are 8, 38, and 39. But uh, I'm going to start at 28 and just get into it. This section is titled More Than Conquerors. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, mm. who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he was predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he, predest he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. Meaning God knew, God knew that you were going to be a part of this. He called you to be a part of this. And when he called you, he also gave you the tools and equipped you to be a part of, of the of the family of Christ, and then in doing so, he glorifies you. What then shall we say in response to this? How can we respond if God does this? If God is for us, if God's on our side, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all, how will he not also among, uh, along with him graciously give us all things? Basically saying, if God was willing to give up his son to save our lives, what, what he's able to give up everything in the world. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? They're basically saying, what, what, what in the world will stop that love of Christ that, that has been gifted to us? 
as it is written, For your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. That's in Psalms. That's Psalms 44, 32 that uh, they're referring to right there. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We are more than just people who go out for Christ. We are loved. For I am convinced, and this is the part that I had written in my verse of the day, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demon, nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wow. There is so much there that Paul says nothing can separate the love of Jesus Christ from you. I want you all to walk away from this, to walk away today knowing that you walk with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's with you. Nothing can separate you once you've accepted him into your heart. And that's so powerful. And through trials and, and hardships, uh, m- many that may come your way, if your eyes are focused on Jesus, on him, nothing can come between you. In Romans 8, 18 through 19, um, they're, they're, Paul is writing about future glory. He says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. The creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. So I want you to walk away today uh, reveling in one thought. Revel in the joy of Jesus. No matter your problems, no matter your hardships, no matter what you're dealing with, God has, can, and will overcome them. And we walk with Jesus. All right, I'm going to pray for us, and I hope, I hope that inspires you as much as it inspires me, because if we keep our eyes on him, whew, there's nothing that he can't accomplish. All right. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that you walk by our side, Lord, that we are with you, uh, and, and nothing can separate us from you. There is no trial. There is no tribulation. There's no problem that this world throws our way that you can't overcome and that you you haven't overcome. Lord, you are powerful and you are love, Lord. Help us to walk in that today. Help us to know that throughout all this day and throughout all this week, Lord, that we can know that we are a child of God and that we're loved by you. Lord, help us to stay focused on that. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. We'll catch you next time.